Let's take a look at the new Org Health Scan report. It's found under the Optimize menu. Now, this report was created by scouring the internet for every technical blog and article we could find about Salesforce administration and gathering all of the best practices from these articles. And we divided them here into five different categories, security risks, compliance audit, technical debt, best practices, and code quality. You can select any number of these tests and run them on your org. So let's look at compliance audit. So for example, too many required fields on page layouts. So if you have too many required fields, people may just kind of skip the page layout or enter junk into the fields. Uh, it reduces user adoption. So here's the test results. A pass would be less than 5% of our page layouts have this problem. A warning is if it's less than 15%, and if it's greater than 15%, that's a failure of the test. And we can define the range here below that. Too many required fields is four or more. Now that's the best practice that we found uh, looking through the literature. So now to look at this uh, test, you can just go to the preview report tab and you can see our org has a lot of page layouts with a bunch of required fields. And we can see that there are four or more required fields were 34 out of 192 total. So we failed the test with 19% of our page layouts. Now, if we want to make changes to those page layouts, we have lightning links to them that are right here that you can click on and go directly into the org and make the changes. Also, you might come back and say, hey, you know, too many required fields is really, let's say it's six or more. Now let's look at our results. And now you see there's a much fewer number of results that have six or more required fields on the page layout. So that's how this works. You can adjust all the parameters of each test, and you can select any number of tests over here at left. Now, by checking the boxes, that means the test will actually appear in the Display Report tab. So let's go there and see uh, what happens when we run all of the tests. So here we go. That took a few moments. Uh, but I can see all of the summaries of all of the tests here at top. And so this goes through all 75 tests of best practices, code quality, compliance, and security. You can see we had warnings on five of the tests and quite a few test failures. And so you can go through all of that and figure out everything that you need to do. Each one of the tests generates a table that gives you all of the details. Where possible, we give you links, lightning links, into the actual object that caused the problem for the test. But this single report is a complete summary, really, of all of the best practices in your org. You can look at the report or you can look at a dashboard and get summaries by each type of compliance category. Now we saw how you can customize each one of these tests to what you think the best practices are. Up here in the upper right, the Manage Properties button will let you restore the default values for all the tests, the tests in a category, or the selected tests. You can also import and export all of the properties in an XML file. This makes it easy to save your customizations or to move them between orgs. Let's take a moment to look at some of the amazing tests that are available in the Org Health Scan. You can find users with administrative privileges. There shouldn't be too many of those. You can find profiles and permission sets that have changed. Under Compliance Audit, you can find metadata assets that have been deprecated, metadata assets with missing descriptions or hard-coded ID references, fields with missing compliance information, personal data fields that are not encrypted, fields with labels that look like other fields, or objects with labels that look like other objects. You can find too many reports, profiles, or permission sets compared to active users. Too many fields that are multi-select pick lists and too many required fields on a page layout. Under technical debt, you can find reports, dashboards, and email templates that have not been run recently. You can find Apex classes that have not been executed recently. You can find custom profiles and permission sets that are assigned to few users. Here under best practices are a slew of new tests that are especially relevant to sales operations and to org management. You can find objects with too many validation rules or record types or apex triggers. You can find records that are missing record type information or cases that are overdue, leads without valid information, opportunities created and closed on the same day, 
There's a couple dozen amazing new tests here that will find a lot of different problems in your org. Lastly, let's look at code quality. You can find Apex triggers that reference multiple assets, Apex classes and triggers with low code quality or code coverage or version numbers, Apex classes that call external services or are called by external services, Apex classes with too many lines of code or too many duplicate lines, also too many Apex classes compared to test classes. All right, that's a quick overview of the new Org Health Scan report. This will really help you discover and institute the best practices in your org.